hello hello welcome YouTube family welcome again to this channel this channel is Bono economics in here we talk about stock market investing investing in the cryptocurrency and any other form of investing out there that you might think of you can put your comment down there we can talk about it today is Sunday Easter Sunday I hope you all are having a good day enjoying the Easter holiday as they come to an end and tomorrow we're back to work stock market now today I'm bringing you another stock and this is an EV stock which I'm thinking is gonna go up in value it's a high value growth stock and this is lightning e motors lightning e motors is a company that involved in the electric vehicle uh, manufacturing uh, the thing with uh, this lightning e motors company it went public through a spark you know a spark is called special acquisition company so they went through a spark called gik which is pretty much called gig capital right here gig capital this is a spark what they do is they take a, a company uh, that is willing to go public but they, but they don't want to go through the regular ipo process which is tedious and involves a lot of uh, money to be spent but if they go through the SPAC, you know, the SPAC takes care of all that process and it's easy going for them. To start with, we're going to talk about who is this Lightning E Motors. And here we go. We check in their website. Let's see what they talk about. Lightning E Motors is at the forefront of fleet electrification, powering familiar commercial vehicles platform with our high-tech electric powertrains we also provide everything you need to charge them whether you are looking at purchasing a new ev or repairing old vehicles to erect it, we are your partner through the entire process one thing you um which is key in this company is that you might not really need to buy a new vehicle they can take your old vehicle and they can make it an ev vehicle you know they will put in their system there to make your vehicle ev um compliant so you don't maybe if you work in commercial uh, driving trucks and you know small trucks and stuff like that they can take your vehicle and they can put in your system and your vehicle becomes an ev vehicle that is very crucial right there so you know let's take a look at a brief introduction here of uh of this company from their website. Listen to this video for a few seconds. Lightning E-Motors specializes in commercial electric vehicles from medium duty vans all the way up to motor coaches. You'll see in our factory lots of customized vehicles like shuttle buses with wheelchair lifts, like large class six delivery trucks with refrigerators or with custom lifts on the back. Our ability to deliver a very wide variety of technologies, order sizes, configurations, and customizations in a very cost-effective manner to our customers makes us highly unique and specialized in this space. What you see in our factory is flexible lines both to build the powertrains and to assemble the electric vehicles. Our flexible lines allow us to adapt quickly to a wide variety of orders and a large quantity of orders as they come in. Not only is this facility the largest commercial electric vehicle production facility in the United States today, it also has capacity to continue to expand at a very fast rate. Sitting on a campus with over a million square feet today and an incredible labor pool in northern Colorado, we are committed to expanding at the fast pace that this market wants to take us. Lightning E Motors is the product leader today with more medium duty commercial electric vehicles on the road than any other OEM. This product leadership is. Okay. So, what we gather from here is that, you know, they will take your old vehicle, they will make it an EV vehicle, and they will also provide chargers to your vehicles and this company is based out of Colorado now there's a lot of information that has been dropping about this company which is very crucial to where this company is going and let's take a look at uh, the pretty much new information from this company on Twitter 
if you go to their Twitter, it says provider of electrification solutions for fleets, class three vans, class six trucks, class seven city buses, class eight more coaches and charging by lightning EVSE. Now, you scroll down on their Twitter, uh, this information dropped in today, pretty much. This one says what? Breaking DH DHL DHL US deploys 100 new lightning electric delivery vans in US. Now, we all know about DHL company. This is a shipping company involved in shipping uh, different kind of mails and products. And it's an international company, you know, based all over the world. Now, the US part of DHL has, dep has ordered to deploy nearly 100 new lighting electric vehicles from this company that is big news right there and you know i chose to counter check this information from different other sites just to make sure this information is correct so you know i just kind of google it and here is frightwaves.com dhl express apps order for lightning E motors electric transit vans. Let's scroll down here. Read this information right here. What does it say? A successful, a successful trial of nine Lightning E motors electric Ford transit vans has led DHL Express to announce it will deploy an additional 89 vehicles in New York and California this year. The Ford Motor Company that mark the keyword there the ford motor company so this information is coming from the ford motor company transit 350 hd class 3 vans are equipped with lightning zero emission tr system and capable of achieving 61 miles per gallon equivalent compared to 13 miles per gallon for a similar gas powered van lightning say they include proprietary telematics and analytic software which will aid with route optimization driver training and vehicle efficiencies the company added we are aiming to improve the lives of people where they live and work using clean pickup and delivery solutions such as electric vehicles and cargo systems for our first and last mile services said dhl express us ceo greg hewitt with the successful deployment of the first nine pilot vehicles, we are excited to expand our electric delivery van footprint and routine to drive forward our corporate road map to decarbonization. Now, this information here is coming from actually the CEO of DHL Express US. He confirms what Lightning e Motors are talking about here. If we go down here, we see a video here of a uh, Lightning e Motors uh, truck being driven somewhere around the Colorado. Uh, watch out of spec, full review of our Lightning electric transit after they spent a week with it here in the Rocky Mountains. I think the Rocky Mountains is, is in the Colorado. You know, this is a one minute video, nine seconds. They just play it and see what it is. Here we are at the top of the hill, folks. We have made it. And that view is gorgeous. So it just climbed like 3,000 feet plus of elevation over a very short distance. No warning lights on the dash. Um, our miles per kilowatt hour is like 0.6 to 0.7 miles per kilowatt hour on our screen consistently. Now I'm letting it charge up on the regen. It's holding our speed at 37. It's actually losing speed and we're on a really steep downhill. That regen is extremely strong. Uh, I gotta say, look, as, as critical as I am, as many vehicles that I test, I really do push them to their limits. I am impressed that this just hauled itself up at a very reasonable pace way faster than most everyone else on the road and it there's zero complaints on the dash everything seems great we're charged up to we've already gained two percent just going down this little section we started at 17 we're at 19 percent call me impressed for sure so pretty much that is uh you know a driver who was comfortable uh testing a vehicle which has been installed with um 
system from Lightning Immortals. Now, I just want to show you uh, how their system is installed. Let's take a look at that. Uh, I do have it here. On a video. Uh, let's see whether it's. Transportation is a major source of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, which contribute to climate change. Diesel powered motor coaches are helping by taking private cars off the road. But can we do even better? What if you could remove over 200,000 pounds of CO2 from the air every year? That's over 90 metric tons, requiring the CO2 capture of almost 7,000 trees annually for just one motor coach. What if, while improving our environment, you could cut your energy costs by 35% or more? What if you could reduce maintenance costs by over 70%? And what if you could repackage your engine, transmission, and auxiliary drives to create a lower center of gravity and deliver the smoothest, quietest ride? Okay, this one here is talking about transformation of these buses into EV, which is pretty much what Lightning Motors does. But I do have a video here which is, shows how they do transform a vehicle. How did they install their system? Uh, I think I have it here. Let's, I'm going to play it for a few seconds. Nice. And, uh, you know, you can listen to it. You know, pretty much this shows how their system is installed in the vehicle and, you know, the overall. <laughs> Lightning Systems manufactures electric powertrains for commercial vehicles. So we supply the, the pieces and parts that are needed to make a, uh, a proven commercial vehicle uh, fully electric. We differentiate in the fact that it is not a full truck. It is a powertrain for a truck that already exists, and in our case, multiple trucks that already exist. Vehicles like a Ford Transit, vehicles like a GM 6500, that fleets already know how to service, they already know how to operate, they already are familiar with them, they already know where the spare parts are, they can already get lift gates and, and shelving and other accessories for. We're taking that great vehicle and we're putting an, a very tightly integrated, elegantly integrated powertrain into that vehicle so that it still looks and feels and drives better than the stock vehicle, but it's familiar to the customer and it works in their daily work use. We've made a very elegant and smooth integration. A lot of times when you see somebody build an aftermarket powertrain, it's kludgy. It's the dash doesn't look right. There's gauges that don't make sense anymore. It's not smooth. Okay, as you can see, you know, they call their system as an electric powertrain for commercial vehicles. Pretty much what they do is, you know, they take your regular vehicle, they install their system there, and your vehicle instantly becomes an EV vehicle. Now, I understand I said that, you know, this company went uh, public through a spark called gik uh, gig capital you know ticket symbol gik so currently they're still trading at a gik and uh, in the near future you know they're gonna go on their own they will separate from the gik and they will be registered under the ticket symbol uh, zev uh, zev in the new york stock exchange now since they're trading under, under the ticket gik which is gig capital let's see how they're uh, they've been performing under the GI, under the gig capital. Now, the gig capital, ticker symbol GIK, right here, which is a spark. you know, uh, let's find out what's, what this gig capital is all about. Gig Capital 3, Inc. is a blank check company. The company is formed for the purpose of entering into a merger, which is pretty much what, the, what they did with the Lightning e Motors. Share exchange, asset acquisition, stock purchase, recapitalization, reorganization or similar business combination with one or more businesses its target its target business is not limited to an industry or geographic region the company focuses on companies in the technology media and telecommunication industry now if you look down here the price of uh, G, uh, gik uh, currently trading at ten dollars and seventy two cents now this is based on data since 
last Thursday, which was um, April 1st. This day, right, based on April 1st, uh, the last trading day because Friday was a holiday. Now, this is $10.72. Now, if we can go back here and I can show you, let's go back to one month out. Oh, let's go to three months out on this stock. If you go three months out, we have we, we can see clearly right here. This stock has traded above sixteen dollars and you know in a few cents right there. Sixteen dollars and above. And then, you know, uh I believe this was three months ago. We're in April, so this must have been somewhere in January when it went public. So and then the stock, you know, kind of been taking a dive a little bit here and there. And then the worst dive this company took was right here in March. You know, and we all know that, you know, the month of March was really, really hard for these stocks. You know, that it was a pullback, which is pretty much expecting the stock market that it happens all the time. So this stock has pulled back from the high of $16. It has, to, it has pulled back all the way to like $10, currently trading at $10.72, in which case when the SPAC registers a company, you know, the, the, the IPO price or the price of the stock market for the SPAC is usually $10. So this stock has gone back all the way to almost its initial offering price, which was $10 based on this SPAC, currently trading at $10.72. So this tells me that, you know what, it, it's gone back all the way from $16 to $10. This is a buy. This is the buying point for this stock. If you are to buy this stock, you know, when it went IPO, or when it went public with this pack, you know, you could have bought this stock at $10. The only difference here is 72 cents. So this is a buy zone, pretty much a buy zone for this company. And the reason why I say that it's a buy zone is because this is an EV uh, company. And we know that, you know, uh, the biggest part of the Biden infrastructure bill that he introduced you know, it's pretty much gonna power all these EV companies to you know to the highest. So this is one of the company that is gonna benefit from that. Uh, we take a little bit of news about this company right here on a TD Ameritrade. You know, this was March 30th, 2021. Gig Capital uh, Three Spark Major Partner Lightning E Motors reports fluid truck ordered fluid truck ordered fully added delivery trucks for its new. New York City free, no terms disclosed. You know, I also chose to, you know, counter check this information, you know, with some other websites that are there that I could be talking about it. And I come across here, um, this is a business wire. This is business wire, okay. Free truck, business wire, you know, is an accredited uh, information uh, you know, they give information based on facts. Free truck orders 40 additional zero emission trucks from Lightning E Motors. And, you know, you can see a truck here. This is a, you know, it's a regular box truck here, you know, which has been uh, fitted with Lightning E Motors. You can see their logo right there. Uh, EV system. And the truck becomes, you know, fully EV. So, let's read the information here. It says, a leading provider of purpose-built commercial electric vehicles for free today announced that free truck has ordered 40 additional zero emission delivery trucks for its new york city fleet these vehicles will be utilized by xpo logistics and nal group in their support of ikea retail us last mile delivery efforts we know about all this ikea you know ikea is a big store which sells a lot of furniture you know and you know pretty much i have seen them almost all over uh, regionally, I think, or they could find that in you know maybe in one city they have one I care, or maybe in two cities they have one I care. But you know this this is this huge information and huge business for this company, and you know that you know as more business they get, you know that translates into more revenue for them, more revenue for them translates into more business. And you know what, uh, the stock is gonna go up because they're gonna have more orders after the company is seeing that you know this you know this company is uh, providing good, um, uh, good system for the for the EV companies. So then you know I chose to check 
on what are the analysts saying about this company now some and you know this analysts who kind of value the company based on their fundamental and technical analysis and see how the company is performing and they issue a projection of their stock you know in the near future and where the stock is going now usually i do counter check with tip ranks tip ranks is you know is a very good uh, platform here if you want to check where the companies are going you know if the company is a buy if the company is a sell or you know what the analysts are saying and here we go and we put in here gig capital uh, ticket symbol gik and based on lightning emotos performance and we can see that the consensus analysis uh, analyst here is price is 16 dollars and 50 cents with a high of 17 dollars and low of 16 dollars Understand this company has already been to $16. It has pulled back all the way to $10.72. Now, if this is the consensus analyst, consensus analyst here, two of them say is a buy, none of them say hold, none of them say sell. Price target $16.50, high of $17. But you know what? As they keep getting more orders and more revenue, this price could you know go up to uh, infinity so that is what the analysts are saying about this company and you know we can see that this company is geared into a big future you know they have a lot of work to do they have a lot of um, orders that, that are gonna be coming from them and you know if these multinational companies are putting orders into this company you know what other company out there do we expect to put orders into this company so based on that information we can see that this company is you know is geared for a good future and you know expect this stock to grow up you know in the near future and uh you know my analysis about this company is what am i gonna do about this particular stock i can tell you what i'm doing is that you know i, I do have a small position about this company and what i'm going to do is i'm gonna add up because it has pulled back all the way to $16 because my original price when I bought this company, I think I, I got it somewhere around $12. So I'm just going to average up onto this company and I'm going to get it from, you know, $10.72. I'm going to get a few, a few more shares about this company. And you know what? I can only tell you what I'm doing. You know, when you uh, want to buy a particular stock, do your own uh, due diligence, check the facts about the stock, check everything what you need to know about the, that particular company before you buy my information right here is just for entertainment purposes i am not a financial advisor take it take this as a youtube entertainment go with it like that and you know what i'll see you on the next video when we talk about maybe another particular company maybe we can maybe choose about uh, another ev uh, company i'm not sure but you know i'll be checking out on that meanwhile if you like this video click the like button there subscribe to this channel let's help the youtube algorithm the mighty youtube algorithm peace out see you on the next video bye